Okay, so now let's take a look at deploying this telescope. Oh, it's, I see it's good. Vera Krabov, Krabovskaya, Krabovskaya and Jim Dark Magic have both calmed down, so they're both being more mellow about life, so that's good. Okay, so I think I think maybe this time I don't actually need to use the robot arms. I just need to get them out of the way. This one out, dude. Yeah, these robotic arms are, are different. They're a different style than than what I had in the in the Seagull shuttle. Uh, I gather these are, are are the modeled after you know the perfect replicas of, of what flew on the Buran. And I have to say that I like just the, the overall design. I like them a whole lot better. It's, it's straight. Uh, it's, it's simple. You got a shoulder. You have an elbow. You have a wrist. Uh, you, you, if you have an arm, you already know how to make this thing work. You know. Uh, the only reason I didn't put put one of these on the on the seagull is because well, you see that they're they're so long that they would not fit inside the the seagull's. Uh, cargo bay. Yeah, I think I like these arms. These, these, it's a much, it's a much cleaner, more elegant design than that that canid arm thing. Okay, good. I just want to get those out of the way. I think what we can do. All right, let me see. Let me turn the quantum struts off. Those are off. That's good. And now. Let's get in here and let's decouple the node. Good, okay. I think what I'm gonna do, let me see, RCS is already on. I wonder if I can just RCS forward a hair. I'm just gonna wanna RCS the thing loose. Yeah, that worked out just nicely, didn't it? Uh, maybe go backwards a little bit, because we're getting close to that arm. Now it's getting close to the other arm. Switch up. Maybe I should have moved the arms further away. Oh, wait a second, I'm being stupid about this. Why don't I roll out of the way? There we go. Good. Oh, that's, yeah, it works. It's cute. I think I like it. RCS a, just a little further away from it. Yeah, you don't have to use these arms to deploy deploy payloads out of here all the time, but I am looking forward to, to using them to uh, start constructing on a space station somewhere along the way, you know? Yep, that worked just fine. No issues. Okay, now let's change vehicle. Let's get over to this thing. Let's say control from here, right? Actually, I want to think we need to... Uh, that's right. I think we want to set up a whole bunch of action groups for this one. That's it now. Let's see if I click on this. Do I have my edit action groups is what I'm looking for. I should have an option to edit action groups. I don't need this up at the moment. Edit, edit, um, hello? Hello? Control from here? Maybe it's control from here, and then we get, then we can do it. Because I know we need to edit that stuff. Um, what's going on, guys? Because I, hmm. Why is this not working? Uh, let's, let's get back into this one. Yeah, there's enable AG edit. Maybe it's because that was on. Uh, now let's get over here. I'm just, just theorizing because it was initially part of that vehicle. Aha! Yeah, that was it. I had to turn on AG edit over on that one. Okay, okay, that was it. Okay, so now let me see here. We want to set up all these Edit AG. Activate camera. 
Let's see, activate camera, I'll put on one. Okay. Deactivate camera on two. Okay. That next camera on three. Previous camera on four. Zoom in on five. Zoom out on six. And I think the others, we can be okay just doing the whole right click business. So, let's, okay, let's. Uh, all right, let me get back over here and turn this off again. Disable action group edit. Good. Let's extend the solar panels. I think maybe I gave this thing too much electricity, actually, to be honest. Here we are over here in the dark side of Kerbin. Waiting for the sun to come up so we can get some electricity in this thing. Uh, okay, so there that is. Let's open the lens guard. So that part opens up. And this little dish, what's it over here, opens up. Isn't that cool? Okay, so what is a uh, one to activate camera? Here, let's see if we can do some calibration by look, looking at Kerbin. <laughs> we'll try and look at this island over here. Turn that. Oops. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's try. And turn the RCS on just to move it. And then let's see if we can get it settled down. And turn RCS back off. All right, well, yeah, there's an island there. It's kind of blurry. Is this... Oh, SAS is on. But that part of the telescope works. Cool. Bunch of stars and stuff out there, huh? And you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel or set up action group for it. Okay, isn't that all kinds of fun? Here, stop spinning around. Let's shut that off. Good. Yeah, okay, well, it appears to be a functioning telescope at this point. Let's see if we just point it just so we got something to look at for a second. Turn that off. Oops, don't turn it back on. Good. Yep, well, this part's working. Yeah, I can see having some fun with a telescope in the near future. One thing can be kind of tricky to steer. Whoa, because you enable the RCS and it's like too sensitive. You know, we can do this. We can do an inspection of the vehicle, do an inspection of like the, the thermal tiles. Okay, what I want to see is plan. Oh, okay, well, the moon is, like, just straight up from the... Yes, yeah, straight up from, from looking at the... Uh, yeah, from, from Kerbin. Oh, there... Oh, okay, so relative to the shuttle's tail. Oops. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay. 
Okay, we'll see if we can do some examination of the moon. Thing very, very slowly changes direction. I actually don't know how how many of the 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 of the planets and the moons will be visible with this thing from Kerbin orbit. But this shall be a useful instrument, say for our first place that we might be thinking about colonizing. We might uh, want to set up something on the surface of the moon. This would be a good place to study at least this face of it. We can go and focus on this crater up here. Go and take a look. Hey, what's going on in this in this particularly d deep wrinkle right in the middle? Oops, going too high. Yeah, okay, starts to lose resolution at extreme high magnification, but still. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to work with. Uh, what else can I point it at? Okay, so... Here it is. Oh, the sun is just... I wonder what happens if we look at the sun. What happens if we look at the sun with, with this high-powered telescope. I don't know. It sounds like that'd probably be a bad idea. Watch me, because I haven't I haven't read up on exactly how it works or what's good. Watch me end up destroying this thing. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Turn all this stuff off. Try and aim down and to the left a little bit. Things sluggish to move. It has to be because it, it's, you know, you're, you want it to be very, very delicate at changing, changing its attitude. Never ever stare directly into the sun. You'll hurt yourself. But this is Kerbal Space Program, where in, you know, just because something is going to hurt is no reason not to do it. I want to see if there are there any details you can see, is there just just blinding white? It appear. Ooh, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I ha I had something for a second there. Hang on, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh yeah, there's something there. All right, all right. I'm trying to I'm trying to change direction. Well, isn't this kind of fascinating? You can, using this telescope, you can see at least a couple of different layers of the sun. I was not anticipating this. Whoops. Until you look right in the middle. We'll just allow the telescope to keep on panning up the other direction. Yeah, if you look right in the middle, then overloads it overloads the, the telescope, and all you see is blinding white. Come on, let's keep pitching up. Let's go look at the other other side. But if you say just looking at the edge of it... Come on, telescope. Oop, there we go. Pitch down now. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah, if you look directly in the middle, you can't see anything. But here we can see, yeah, the sun has at least two layers. What's the difference in those layers? And it appears to have something, something like sunspots. Anyway, dark patches. I wonder what's up with those, huh? Oh, okay. I'm going to have fun with this toy. I have to figure out how to find some of the other planets and moons and how to point this thing at them and see what I can see. Whoops. 
too bright. <laughs> scroll back, scroll back. Boom, turn that off. Okay, good. Uh, okay, I think it's enough playing with that for now. Yeah, I'm actually going to stop recording right here. Well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's just see. Uh, where is Minmus? Oh, Minmus is about to set as we go around. What else can we see? So we're here on this side. We're out. We can look at stuff out in this direction. Not much to see out in that direction. Let me see. There's. We can maybe. Could we see Eve? Is it possible? Can I figure out how? Where Eve is? Okay. Is it the same skybox in the in the map as it is out of the map? Um, let's see. There's. Okay, so the sun is there. I'm trying to figure out which one of these it would be. Okay, so there's the sun, there's the moon. Oops, no, wrong, wrong, wrong buttons. So the sun is there. The moon is there. What I want to look at is out here. There's Gilly. Be a little bit closer to the sun than to the moon. Is it in pretty much and pretty much centered in this band of the the Milky Way or whatever the Kerbals would call their galaxy. Uh, okay, let's go. Oops, yeah, let's pan back. Enable this RCS just a little bit. Okay, where's that Milky Way? Not seeing it. Stop for just a second. Oh, what am I doing way down there? Grief. Moon's way over there. Okay, so it should be somewhere in this vicinity. Turn that on just to hold it still. Pick up some visual scanning. Let's rotate a little bit. Oops, still got that RCS on. That's causing problems. Okay, come on, stop. Let's get it more or less horizontal relative to this band that I'm looking at. Turn RCS off. Okay, I think I'm just going to kind of slowly sweep through this band this this band of, of the Milky Way that I'm looking at and see if something kind of twinkles in the distance that I can tell is an actual star or, or I'm sorry planet yeah I'm gonna have to do some reading I'm gonna have to do some research trying to figure out what's the uh, the best way to use... Oh, I think I think I saw a twinkle. Oh, I see it again. Ooh! Yeah, the best way to aim this telescope. Oh, that's definitely a twinkle. We got something out there. Right here. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is fun. What is it? What is it? What do you think it is? 
See, my Kerbals, my, my Kerbals in my, my particular game, they don't know much of anything about the system beyond the moon. They've never even been to Minmus. Oh, look at that purple-pink color there. Ooh, and there's another twinkle for a little moon over here. Got some shaking going on. Turn the SAS off. Whoops, whoops, hang on. Yeah, but, okay, this is evidence that, yeah, just simple visual scanning should be good enough to be able to observe details. Whoops. I'm just make, trying to make the gentlest, tiniest little taps in the keyboard. Whoops. Come on. Okay. So there would be Eve, pinkish purplish, the shiny metallic sea. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I suppose I could cheat and go to the, use the dynamic warp to go extra, extra slow. Modeled many, many lakes. Okay, where's that moon for, there it is, it's over here. Where I'm just assuming it's a moon. It could be a, maybe I'm looking at another planet off to the side. Is that two or is it just it's vibrating so much? Good. Oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was just vibrating so much earlier, it looked like two. Come on, telescope, settle down. Do you just hold still? What happens if I hit this button? Yep, okay, so that's just whatever. It, okay, so there would be a moon that is just, it's its so small that it, 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 it can't be... It's not even totally spherical, you know? It's mostly spherical, but just not completely. Oh, wow. Just making the tiniest little taps to try to keep this thing aimed at it. Ah, stop. Stop. Yep. So what is that? What's Eve's moon? Is that Ike? Is, if I remember, am I remembering that correctly? Whoop. It's scattering and jumping around all over the place. Whoa. Yeah. Or it's Gilly. What is Gilly? I need to... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I don't actually know about the system. Yeah, Eve. Oh, that's Gilly. Yeah, Ike is something different. I, no, it's, Ike is a Duna, isn't that right? Okay, well, this is fun. But, yeah, I think I already said I was going to stop. But this time I mean it. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to yeah, shut this down. Here, close the cover. Close the lens guard. Keep the dust off. <laughs> How's my shuttle doing? Charger, can we point this thing? Can we point the... We need to, before we shut this down, I need to just pitch up. No, I still got RCS turned on. Yeah, I just get some sunlight on those bays, on the solar panels. Yeah, right about there. Okay, and yeah, next next time around we'll look at getting the, getting uh, Vera and Jim.
back down to Kerbin safe and sound. And I don't know, we may play some more with the telescope. We may uh, start start looking at what we need to do to have a, a general multi-purpose space station for uh, refueling, for doing uh, experiments and science, for assembling larger larger spacecraft. But anyway, yeah, we need a space station. I think we need to look, start looking at doing that. And then, once we get that project going, then we'll start looking at going and colonizing somewhere. Yeah, it'll be fun. But, uh, yeah, all you beautiful people, I like talking to you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.